oh my god like this is actually the real ma- multiverse of madness mm. <laughs> like it was exactly. like wow like the this is that great concept yeah wow dude it's like what what a ride <laughs> what an like this is this is what you call a masterpiece you know and over the pandemic just five people in their homes on their own computers like they did the vfx and everything so- you know the, the <laughs> i don't know what to say like yeah. Hello guys, I'm Nona Prince and I'm joined by Varun who's a big cinephile and welcome back to the Unexplained series. Uh we have been not doing this for a long time but we are back. Yeah. And today <laughs> we are talking about the indie film by A24 Everywhere Everything All at Once or Everything Everywhere All at Once. Everything everywhere. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Still uh, buzzed out uh because oh my god, I'm just blown away. And if you don't know what is Unexplained series, we just just talk about a movie because we don't get it we are just amused and i think previously we did for uh what was that one with uh, dev patel green uh, green book green night green, green night sorry green night and we did for a separation, a separation uh, so yeah. mostly like indie international hollywood films oh my god like this is actually the real ma- multiverse of madness <laughs> definitely yeah and what are the odds that both films are coming out at the same time mm-hmm. and both are in the theater when they came out like what yeah. are the odds <laughs> yeah i think i mean definitely a lot of odds i feel like i think this movie was uh, i think it premiered at khan last year or somewhere okay it did, like it premiered at a festival i'm not sure which one but uh, yeah so it's like theatrical release came very late but uh, yeah then like when it came it came like just few weeks before uh, doctor strange 2 so yeah a lot, like a lot of coincidence <laughs> but you know i was just thinking if you just see the plot it's a lot similar right spoiler spoiler yeah, alert yeah. spoiler alert <laughs> just want to get For just both the alert. films Yeah. because it's like the major theme is that are you happy are you mm. happy with the life you are living or do you want the other right life now. you know yeah exactly it's like it's about living <laughs> you know be, like wong's dialogue right be grateful with what you have yeah <laughs> and you know even in this movie and i got emotional so many times and like there's so much to talk about but first i want to talk about uh, you know let's keep the visuals the artistry or the craft of it aside right these are yeah. the you know the fun elements of it there's a lot of uh, adult humor also in a way mm-hmm. like literally at one moment yeah. she's she's fighting with two <laughs> you know <laughs> don't want to say yeah. it on youtube apart from that you know for me what attracts me is the emotional quotient right mm, that yeah it is sci-fi it is all this you know uh, jargon mm. but multiverse and everything but it's about that human emotion of being True. in the moment or not being thinking about you know like mm. take from the start right that we get to know the husband wants to take divorce yeah. and then we see why that she yes. is she has no time yeah. to live the life she's just trying mm. to be uh, you know for the future yeah. tomorrow what will happen next day what will happen i have to think about that and that's going on and she doesn't have yeah. a good relationship with her daughter then mm. uh, with the father she's always like pressured and she is not uh, you know uh, pr- yeah. proud she's of her own self to live up to like yeah. his expectations yeah which is very yeah. uh, like for indians it's very much uh, you know relatable yes, in relatable, that sense yeah. you get all these things and then you uh, introduce the character that you have such so many people in multiverse and you know all of them yeah. are successful <laughs> you are the one yes, person exactly. who every decision you took like every decision yeah. branches into a different timeline like They multiverse right yes. and every yeah. decision you took was the worst <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so you are the one who can, you know, fight back the mm, like it was like exactly. wow, like the just Such the, a that great concept, yeah. Forget the multiverse thing, like just to bring that narrative out that you are the worst person and still you want to, you know, give hope. Yeah. And work exactly. on it. Exactly. It's mm. just brilliant. And you know then yeah. the relationship with the daughter, then the daughter, the villain. I love that the you know it was not like some sci-fi villain kind of a thing. It was her daughter. Yeah. It was it a was, daughter only, yeah. At the end, it and was. And then, like, yeah, yeah, even even you know, she's like a big villain in like the multiverse, like yeah, uh, bigger than whatever we have seen in Marvel or anything. And yet, still, like, she still wants to save her like that. I think all that was also like very very well done. And I think again, you know, sort of coming back that even though like this was sort of the worst version of this woman in the whole multiverse, but yet still like that. she had that hope i think that was like again shown very well and again that like whole emotional part of it it worked so well like especially in the last 45 minutes i think it was extra like all that was very well done especially like even if you are the worst you still have a life to live yeah, you still can do and you know things 
you know you mm. still have loved ones around you you can still <laughs> live a life even if it's yeah. just a you know microsecond in the vast uh, mm. scope of the universe like our lives yeah, exactly. are a blink of an eye for someone right mm. yeah that's not even what... that at, like when we like there's a dialogue right that like people were killed because they mm. believe there's something else you know in the world mm. and then the yeah. discovery happened and yeah. today we feel like you know we are not, we don't matter nothing matters mm. you know this universe sun and asteroid will come crash and we'll end just like dinosaurs <laughs> yeah and then realize after that one more thing will be explored and like none of this matters we are fighting over <laughs> some pity pity issues we are you know all of this and yeah i, I love the f- fact that you know it's it's a, not about a physical war it's about an ideological war between them mm. that the exactly vi- yeah like the villain is just saying that all of it is like you know that uh what, what do you call yeah, that thing? It, uh, uh, yeah. ideology that uh, Na- uh nihilistic nihilism uh, yeah nihilism, uh, so nihilism, you yeah. know it's like yeah and <laughs> you, and today right many people believe yeah. in that i know so mm. many people like we, we when we were in college we knew so many people who believed like it all doesn't yeah. matter there's no point in all of it but yeah. at the end you have to you know no one is willing to go and himalayas and just you know retire for mm. life exactly yeah <laughs> everyone wants gadgets everyone wants to live this yeah. mater- materialistic world so uh, yeah. like i just love that fact you know man uh, mm. it just like you know i never knew where it's going so i think one yeah, thing i felt true. is that the mm. film is to what 20 minutes but i felt the length because i felt mm. now the film is getting over now it's getting over yeah, it's not I, I think getting so. I over that too. right yeah yes yes it just keeps going like, one scene after the other like there were multiple points where i was like oh, okay this this is like the yeah, final this moment. is the climax this is yeah. the final moment but then you know something else happened and something else happened which i don't know if it's a, entirely a negative also because at the end the ending that we got like yeah. that was very good so i don't know maybe it's it builds up towards that but like i saw like i i did feel the length but it was good to explore all, all aspects of it like you know mm. when oh, i have to talk about that stone world dude yeah oh that rocks. was so good yeah to like the down <laughs> dialogues the just Literally, the beauty yeah. of that scene right like they're just stones and then yeah. you appreciate that moment then yeah. you appreciate you know uh, her like you know on, like of course the dad's character the husband we yeah. you know throughout the film we get that feeling oh he's just like that you know yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> like you know uh, she says that uh, in a universe i'm good because i didn't run away with you like i didn't leave with you yeah the, and i became the successful she, the film star yeah. and later we find out even he became successful yeah. because he didn't meet you right so <laughs> exactly like, yeah <laughs> I, you know that the, i don't know what to say like yeah. and yet still like even though both were successful they still talked about you know being together in some other yeah, life and just doing laundry stuff. yeah exactly and the in the one where they are like they are still having like problems and all that it's like yeah <laughs> problems are there everywhere like whichever exactly, yeah. life you live on it's about living in that moment right and mm. uh, like that husband that you know he thinks he says right i i fight with the kindness yeah. the world is cruel mm-hmm. but my fight towards it to be still be kind and that, mm, that just exactly. hits so hard that yeah. yes that's also an option you know it's not about getting realistic yeah, exactly. and giving giving up hope mm. and no nothing can happen nothing can change uh, it's mm-hmm. it's just these wonderful messages and then you know when uh, like she even realizes that the power the power of love right like yeah. they, it doesn't feel cringy right it feels you you feel heart touched right <laughs> in that moment mm. it's exactly th- that well done and then you know yeah. uh, then that happens and then the daughter uh, you know he it tells the grandfather that she's her girlfriend and the daughter still mm. leaves right you expect oh she'll be like oh thank yeah. you mother accepting me that yeah, is the end you expect she's right she's still angry yeah. she's still angry she leaves because yes you cannot just quickly because you cannot undo yeah, all the things that have happened solve- Yeah, yeah exactly like whole lifetime uh that entire like lifetime worth of uh, you know whatever emotions and all that like those can't be solved that just in that moment yeah exactly. and then you know she goes away and then she says i i want to go and then mm-hmm. there's a little pause like what will she you know she'll stop yeah. her or not because she told her father right that you never stopped mm-hmm. me how could yeah. you let me go you know exactly <laughs> yeah and then she's like i'm like wondering now will you stop her will you not let her go or will you let mm. her go and have her own life and make her own decisions you know mm. now where yeah. where does exactly. it stand and then she's like okay go and then feel like yeah. oh that's the ending that's you know letting it go like let her mm. decide and yes. then you know the yeah. the the rock is falling in every mm. different yeah, yeah. variations you know <laughs> they are uh, going apart yeah. and then again she's back 
<laughs> like in the she's going to that uh, like donut whatever they call yeah, it yeah bagel 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 so yeah. from there also now she's pulling her back she hugs yeah. her and and when the stones Literally. go down like she also yeah. jumps up and she the moment really the stones going to meet and everything you know, all these cuttings is happening and then it's just hug yeah and exactly. just the, such like, a amazing song. like yeah. you know like multiverse is a concept which is so you know weird to explain and it's become too too much for your brain and and at moments mm-hmm. i did feel that uh, watching the movie there's just too much going on but at mm-hmm. the end it makes sense because emotionally it works exactly yeah like that hot dog universe dude <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like there is a character development with her also the tax uh, lady yeah the you know tax lady <laughs> with the husband with the father with oh, her yeah. daughter you Everyone, know and throughout yeah. these different universes and in all of them we are invested with these characters yeah it's it's <laughs> the that feat itself is outstanding and over yeah. that you know all the technicalities like the vfx like there's mm-hmm. so many moments i never felt they had budget constraints dude it felt like they had yeah. like 200 300 million exactly i mean vfx still like i'm still you know mind blown how can like five people literally do the vfx of like... a feature film <laughs> I, I can't believe it oh god like now like, this is better than so many films literally so many films i mean it's again you know like i guess yeah it comes back to like if you have like that much of passion and you know you sort of have that drive i guess you can achieve literally whatever you want you know what the closest yeah. film i can come in india is tumbad yeah that's what i think i also thought yeah. i think that's the closest one again you know very 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 tiny budget but like utilize so well so did they literally yeah. you know spend like i think 2 3 crores on a scene mm. in a bazaar yeah and they cut it out because it didn't add because... to the story exactly you know, that's that's the yeah that's what you want to attain <laughs> as a true artist you know not for anyone yeah. not for anyone for yourself But exactly like, yeah. are you willing to you know go that mm. level that exactly. you're okay to let everything go just to make your art look amazing and perfect mm. oh man <laughs> it's just like uh you say five people man i'm just oh my god yeah. but even you know at uh, moments like even there are many shots like even the action in the movie right like the when the mm. first action scene happens it's done so well it feels yeah, like a co- so well choreographed uh yeah. the impact <laughs> like it's so proper hard proper kung fu sort of yeah, yeah. fight yeah. Uh, i'm sure it's <laughs> kind of inspired uh, from somewhere uh, yeah definitely yeah. but dude mm-hmm. like <laughs> each and every moment and even with at you know the set design and you know what they were pulling off yeah at no moment it feels uh, like somewhere mm-hmm. the budget has less it feels yeah definitely. they invested so much money and you know my mm-hmm. my biggest thing is this you know transitioning from one universe to another within one scene yeah like she's getting <laughs> up and uh, yeah. looking here she's in another universe and she has to act yeah. as if she has come from that universe right exactly so the acting yeah. we have to talk about the acting man like to perform yeah. different work and you know so ad is the to maintain the continuity to the script writing the editing to maintain that flow of you know go like to you know like we have done this right we have done yeah. short descriptions and you know how are like, it, this will it happen that so will happen things, yeah. and it's like every 10 second there are 10 things going on mm, exactly. like how how like i want to know the process like how did you do yeah, it yeah yeah that's that's true yeah yeah this is one of those films where i literally want to see like a scene by scene breakdown i want to see what was oh, the thought man. gone what was the effort gone into every single scene like so much of effort has been put in and uh, again you know such a like very small indie team yeah the fact that they you know made and like pulled it off i think that itself is like yeah and i'm happy Definitely. it's doing so well right yeah it, it it is i think the highest like grossing a24 film yeah you know it's especially like over here i heard like i mean at least it, it i don't think it uh, like reached 100 million whatever but uh, it still did very well and it was like a lot of families were going and seeing which is you know very different for like a very small indie movie like and this. a lot of so, like 30% 40% movies in china chinese oh, sorry mandarin mandarin yeah Yeah, yeah. Like I was also surprised. Yeah. Like it, at no place, yeah. you know, it like feels like they start talking in very good English accent. Oh, wow, dude! It's like what a what a ride. <laughs> what an like this is this is what you call a masterpiece, you know. And yeah. Like totally. if you want to find flaws, you can. And like on Letterbox, you know, I will give it four and a half stars. <laughs> Not five. <laughs> because I feel because the. I have give five stars of films which have already come out like Apu trilogy. What yeah, that yeah. film and that time it's outstanding. Like it, this I cannot say anything against it. But this is like <laughs> dude, today's dude. generation. Yeah. What if ten years later I'm like, and that could be better. So just for that sake, yeah. four and a half. 
what does it matter how much stars i give it doesn't honestly, matter but, uh, yes, yeah. but i mean not in that sense but even like honestly i feel like yeah this is like one of those films that definitely i think again you know it it is so many genres like in one yeah i wouldn't call it sci-fi also i wouldn't call it uh, like a family drama also i or, i mean it is all that plus more so yeah this is like definitely one of those films which has like so many different genres and it does like all of that very well like it does each aspect of that very well and i think yeah a lot of films like that are usually like they sort of stand over time like they they get better over time so yeah. I, i hope that happens with this too and the film also you know talks about the immigration uh, immigrants uh, yeah, what yeah, their exactly. life is like you know paying taxes and like getting mm-hmm. confused for what are the english words you are using yeah and and it's good you know that it's doing so well in america like uh, mm-hmm. i think exactly. it started with less than like 1000 screens and it got so yeah. much hype that you know they went over like throughout the us they released yeah it. yeah exactly they so, even released it in imax or something like uh, oh. they of course like for a small film like this i don't think i mean there were of course you know scenes where they, the aspect ratio was changing so i guess that must have looked good but yeah i think still like it's 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 a big thing for like such a small movie to play in imax i think that's yeah. that itself is a big feat but so, we have yeah. to even uh, i think applaud a24 i think russo brothers mm. are uh, executive producers yeah they are yeah. i think i also I like, heard that i don't know the credit started rolling executive. i'm like russo brothers what <laughs> really <laughs> okay that's that's nice but yeah man a24 man uh, they always come up with great films uh, i think the mm. last one midsummer is by them Uh, Harry yeah. is even by them. the Green Knight we saw that Green, was yeah, also Green by Knight them. Was by them. Uh, so like Northman they... is also by them, oh. which we haven't seen yet. Yeah, so we will, guys. Episode <laughs> yeah. coming on that too. Subscribe for that. Mm. <laughs> uh, but yeah. I don't know if you saw that video on Twitter. I think I shared. Uh, Anupama shared okay. that uh, somewhere. Can she was talking about why studios should be able to lose money on films for art? Mm. Like mm. if if he was saying that if you just start making what is working, that even mm. that will get saturated and stop working. Mm. In a way, you are killing movies because yeah. when you are making different kinds, right? There's freshness. So even yeah, there's like, always. If there's a this movie, then mm. there's a scope for another, you know, Doctor Strange or whatever. Yeah, But every exactly. movie is Doctor Strange, you know, doc, this that guy. People will get yeah. nah, I'm not interested anymore. Yeah, and you are true, just yeah. making the audience lose interest. And then only oh, small movies are only for OTT. <laughs> then they stop yeah, coming to theater. Right. You know that it's exactly. like exactly that's that's what happened is happening even in India also. Like you can yeah. see how people are acting with Bollywood. Oh, this should go to OTT only. Like we'll watch this in OTT. like that But yeah same I, see, sort of i thing. feel in india it's like there's one more element of mm. money and time yeah that's so that, it's like like 10 movies are coming in a month yeah <laughs> no one can go watch all 10 like like me i have this is my work so i'll go watch all of mm. them <laughs> but i cannot take my family for all 10 yeah. not even all four maybe one or two like one if, if they are really exactly. great and i want to show them and when you know mm. that within a month it will be on ott yeah you know so that like at the artist point of view you know as a cinephile i would like oh it should be in theater everyone should watch it but in an ideal world that should be the thing but it's not <laughs> yeah exactly uh, but let's come to the actors man uh, michelle yo mm. i saw her many times in many films uh, the yeah. last in shang chi right she was the aunt yeah yeah oh yeah but mm. yeah what... i had forgotten i then remember oh yeah she was there at been moment she doesn't also... look like that like you know she looks yeah, very yeah she different. also has another role in within mcu only i think she was there in guardians of the galaxy volume 2 like one of the og guardians who oh. like they had a cameo <laughs> celestial stallone all right Yeah, yeah, yeah. That team, yeah. That was just like a comic book Easter egg sort. Yeah, of. <laughs> she was so good, man. Uh, like, like you feel, you know. One more thing is that you know you should feel that you have traveled from one universe to the. You are going crazy. Mm-hmm. You have to make me convinced. You are not going yeah. <laughs> through all that. Like maybe you yeah. shot this scene here. I think you shot all the scenes in one costume at once. Maybe I have mm-hmm. no idea how they did that. I don't know. <laughs> But did I'm you, assuming. Have you seen the video where they talk the at least like there are two people from the VFX team or it's I know I think it's the both the directors and one person who was who was like the vfx supervisor no no so like all three of them talk of how they did so many things uh i mean not so many things it's, it's still like i the, just seeing that video that's where i learned that you know they had like five or six people only and then i learned that like i think i mean the film was done shooting like 
in before the pandemic started okay. and over the pandemic just five people in their homes on their own computers like they did the vfx and everything so that's that's still like mind blowing to me and i think uh, i mean you should watch that video it's uh, like Man. i can't share it with you, i hope corridor invites yeah, them and they just yeah genuinely the they film. should actually yeah, yeah. So they talked about you know how like in that small video only they talked about how so many parts they are just like it, they are literally using cuts as like VFX uh, and all that like that and how they are, how they sort of pulled it off. I'll watch that. it so man. I just saw the movie <laughs> last night. So yeah, I'll, exactly. I'll yeah. It, it makes more sense to see now. But yeah. remember that scene where they are uh, like the pre- climax scene where they are both fighting mm-hmm. and they're constantly yeah. changing universes. Yeah. And it's not a cut like this on them. And they're just moving mm-hmm. around and they're just changing one by one, one by one. Yeah, exactly. And I'm like, even if it's green skin, right? It's done so well because in each scene, the lighting also changes on them. Mm-hmm. You know, so that makes yeah. more... And that's basically what, you know, we saw in uh, What If, when Ultron yeah. and Watch are going through universes. And yeah. even in Doctor Strange, like right? Just, yeah. <laughs> it was just uh, like a minute long <laughs> transition. And here, <laughs> like throughout the movie, these transitions are going on. I yeah, love that crack, okay. that mirror crack when showing two yeah. ver- variations. It reminded me of mm-hmm. Stanley Parable. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like we should we should <laughs> do the it, live stream it. of that man. Like let people decide where to go and we'll do that. Yeah. Coming to K uh, Hu Kwa, who played the husband. Mm-hmm. Uh oh, yeah. Stephanie uh Hugh who who played Joy. Dude, yeah. she was so good. Yeah. Like when exactly. she was in that evil version and then yeah. you know that <laughs> that philosophical kind of lo- I just she was so good. Yeah. Uh, then Jamie Lee Curtis was the the tax uh, lady. Uh, mm-hmm. Then even the grandfather uh, James Hong. Uh, mm-hmm. And I just uh, you know let's just give a shout out to the director also Daniel Kwan and Daniel Shenard. Okay, mm. sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry for <laughs> mispronouncing that too. But uh, mm-hmm. like man, huge huge up. You know I think this film becomes special because you know it's an indie film, right? And the exactly, standard. Yeah. And if if I just show it to someone and say, don't say anything. And yeah, like, I just, a... they're like, Are Marvel, it's a Marvel film? <laughs> I just put a Marvel logo in front of them. They'll not even say anything. They're like, very good. <laughs> Honestly, by them. yes. Yeah. Like, is that the standard of, the, you cannot say, looking at the visuals that, no, it's not that big no, no, film or something. No, no. It's like, yeah. <laughs> that, that, that makes it more like, oh my God. And then of course, yeah. you know, the story, the visuals, the way it's done, just mm. the concept, to bring that concept and the emotional quotient together and tell a story which works is just outstanding, yeah. man. Yeah, I think uh, that's it. <laughs> so much. Yeah. There's like, we can, like, as you said, each scene you can break down and, you know, watch it, watch yes. it. You know, that scene, this scene, that scene, <laughs> but that'll be a long yeah. video. Uh, <laughs> but uh, thank you, thank you for joining me, Varun. It was oh, fun yeah, talking course. about the film. <laughs> thank you, everyone yeah. who are still watching. If you enjoyed, do like, subscribe, and let us know which other film we should unexplain. <laughs> mm. <laughs> you know, Northman, maybe we'll see, we'll see. And if yeah. you enjoyed, like, share, and we'll see you next time. See ya.